Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, it is first time I've been on a lake in probably a month and a half now. Um, if you look at these stumps out here, uh, and I'll take another little video here to show you, but uh, there are stumps everywhere. When I was out here the last time, those big stumps right over there were the only ones showing. This lake's down about two and a half feet. Um, I don't care what the thing says. Uh, the little map uh, says it's down right about two. It's, it's down more than that because I'm down two and a half feet on my on my uh, my range finder there. But uh, today, guys, I got a special thing in from ACC Crappie Sticks. We're gonna be using the 13 foot rod along with, hold on, I forgot to pull these up. Crappie Snacks. So I ordered a whole bunch of crappie snacks in from ACC. Ah, stickers, I've been looking for some of those. A um, bunch of different colors. So this one right here, Pull one out, see if I can do the, this is called, I forgot the name of it, but it's called the, the club, well it's the club, but in pear juice has been a great one out here. Not the club, I hadn't used the club yet, this will be the first time. So we're gonna get out here, we're gonna try to catch some fish in this stuff. Um, I'm seeing a few things down there, but uh, man, you know what guys, this is, it's usually about 25 feet in here. Now I'm showing 17.8, now I'm not quite in the middle yet, but this lake's down, man. It's dangerous. I was coming through an area. It's a great point to, to bring up, guys. If you're looking at a new lake, even if you haven't fished your current lake in a while with this drought going on, uh, really take a look at maybe uh, Google Earth, for instance, and find um, what it looks like. But my gosh, there's stumps out there I've never seen. Wow. I actually went very close to that a while ago. Um, but there's a stump right out in the middle. Never seen it before. Just happened to see a bird sitting on top of it, um, right out in the middle where I normally run. So I marked that on my on my graph, got it going. But anyway, we're gonna do ACC crappie sticks, 13 foot rod. We're gonna do today. I'm using the club as I drop it, and let's see what we can catch. That's where we're going today. So y'all stay with us, and let's go catch some fish. Hey guys, as I do every show, uh, start out with prayer. Just something I've uh, made a commitment to do. And uh, uh, well, just a way to glorify God. So let's, let's do a quick prayer. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for allowing us to be out here. Pray for safety right now, Lord. As, as I'm looking at stumps that are I've never seen before, pray that you'll, uh, you'll allow me to, to uh, go around them, help me to see them. Um, pray for anybody else on the lake that they're uh, being safe today. There's a bass tournament um, this weekend, and uh, pray for these guys as well because, man, a lot of these people don't know the lake, and they're just going to run straight through it. Lord, God, I pray for the viewers that are watching. I uh, pray that you'll help anybody out that's having any issues. Lord, show them your power. Show them your love, Lord God, and your mercy. 
We love you, Lord. It's in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, let's do some fishing, y'all. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we can do with this. Well, my measurement's all off now. Oh, but look at that. I'm going right down on top of that sucker. Spooky fishing right here is what this is. You know what? I forgot to do something. All right, one thing, if you watched my show in the last, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks, started using thump gel. This stuff is amazing. Those fish that were down there just now didn't really pay attention to me when I went down, so throw a little thump gel in here. I don't want to do a product review every time, guys, but I will say this stuff is amazing. You just, it's got a little applicator on there. Looks like a little lipstick thing, but you don't put it on your lips. And it will fit in your pocket if you wanted to. All right, let's go back down there and see. I don't even know if these are crappie. They may be, uh, God, the sun's right in my eyes. They may be, uh, what are those things called, uh, drum. Whatever it is, is big. He's sitting right there. And I got a boy, he just hit that sucker. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta remember how to, how to get my, God, it's right in the sun, dude. I can't see it. Come here. Whoo. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm always honest with you, but still. I dropped down there the first time, got nothing. Went right by this fish, put the thump gel on there. He came right at it. So thump gel, I'm using the the club, the new club, uh, pear juice. So one point, what, 1.75 inch with the ACC crappie sticks. Nice fish right there. I'm gonna put him in for a picture. And then he's going back. All right, so we do have crappie here. That's good to know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. That sucker's five foot away. Okay, first time I've just restrung this thing. Still got him. <laughs> oh, this is fun, guys. This is fun. Crappie snacks. Pear, pear juice is killing it, and I just lost my jig in his mouth. Bad tying. Come on, buddy. You're not supposed to be all over the carpet. Look at that, guys. Boy, I had him hooked. Didn't even have my bail closed. Oh, he's too slippery. I don't get that. Whew, good fish. ACC crappie sticks. Can't beat it. All right, I'm gonna put him back just because he's been floating around on the carpet. Trying to keep them alive. Catch and release Friday, guys. Pretty much every day is catch and release with me. God, the sun's bright. I don't know what this stuff is, man. We've been getting hammered by rain. Just north of us got, what did they get? 15, almost 16 inches of rain in one day. Man, we didn't get that much, but the lake, even though the lake's down, it came up about a foot. I like this ride. I'm going back to the 12 footer, yeah, 12 footer right now though, because I need to get in the spots that I'm not able to get in with this. It was just a little too far. I think on some of this stuff, uh, some timber or 
brush piles is a great rod to use. What I'm doing here, I'm just in a smack in the middle of it. I'm finding fish at five foot away, 10 foot away, 20 foot away. I'm gonna go back to 12 footer here and just see what, if I can do a little, a little better with it. This is a great rod though. Man, I don't know what's going on, but I, there's F-15s or F-17s, 18s, whatever they are flying around here. That doesn't ever happen around this area. Closest military base is two hours away. Thumb gel. I'm gonna tangle up up there. Oh, good. All right. Those are not crappie there. All right, we're gonna get out of here, go to a different spot. We'll work our way out of here, see what we can find. Try a different place in the lake. There's a whole bunch right there, but the question is, will they bite? All right, guys. So I did change locations on the lake, and uh, in typical Chris fashion, put my hand in my pocket, turned the mic off, so there is no audio here. So I'm just going to kind of tell you what's going on. So uh, yeah, you see right here, we caught a little bee fish. Um, the great fish down there but it was little ones biting um so this little guy came up to say hi to us and then <laughs> you see this next one which was actually kind of fun uh caught him but i got hung on a log um and uh, so i actually have a fish right here as you're looking at that like it looks like i'm hung um, the sucker took it down and wrapped around a uh a little branch that was sitting there and I had to get it up right up next to him and, and pull it off. You'll see here in just a second. Nope, got to get a little closer to the boat. Alright, throw the pole down there and... Boom, I'm going to come up with a crappie. A little bitty one. It's uh, what I call a fish tank model. Uh, should be in the fish tank. And <laughs> there we go. But what happened here is we started catching fish. So uh, uh, it caught some really good fish here. All right, guys. So the, the next two fish you're going to see here uh, I caught right off the bat. I did catch a bunch more um, right after this, but my camera died. I'll tell you what, it's just, I get so involved in fishing, I don't watch it. But the two contributing factors to these two fish here, and really the rest of them that I caught you can't see, but the two for uh, for, for these two fish are going to be that um, the ACC crappie snacks, that pear juice, that pear juice hammered. Um, I love it. It's a smaller bait. The old older bait was, I want to say a two-inch bait. Um, it's a lot bigger. I did have to cut it in half. A lot of times to use it especially at this time of year um, so this club if y'all have not tried to give it a shot next thing is thump gel it's just an amazing product y'all need to check it out for sure so I want to say thanks so much for watching um, guys we have hit 10,000 subscribers I so greatly appreciate you and watching this and I'll pray that you have a blessed day thanks again we'll see you next week